Welcome back to the Joe Walsh Show. We begin the second half hour with a look at the latest uninformed uh, mania in America, 3D printed guns. And then sad, a sad new poll out concerning Republican voters, I'll explain. And we close with our gallery of the stupid uh, leading tonight with a real Swedish meatball. But we begin with just a crazy, crazy story today, crazy hysteria today um, from politicians and people in the media all getting worked up about this issue of 3D printed guns. And I swear I followed it all day and I don't think anybody in the media understood a word of what they were talking about. Let's drill down on this. Happy to be joined by uh, Greg Schaefer, former FBI agent. Greg. Thank you so much for joining me. Just a lot of madness out there talking about this issue, uh, Greg, of 3D printed guns. Were, were you as blown away as I was by the dialogue? I actually was. Uh, the left loses all credibility when they make these insane statements about these 3D manufactured AR-15s, is what I think Senator Markey said today. Yeah. Listen, there, there's a reason there's been only a few viable working plastic 3D printed guns. It's because it's very expensive, it's very time consuming, and 3D printers are not able to produce something as complex as a weapon in and of itself. What they do is they print and manufacture components of that gun, and then that gun, right. using very complex plastics, then have to be assembled and put together. And then once it's put together, chances are you don't get one shot before it just you know falls apart in your hand. Those plastics can't handle the pressures that a true bullet exerts after it's fired from, uh, you know, uh, out of its barrel. And, and again, it, interestingly, it goes back, Greg, to this case, uh, uh, Cody Wilson, defense distributed. Uh, the Trump administration settled with him. So as of midnight tonight, he was going to be able to put these blueprints uh, back online for these 3D printed guns. And then a federal judge out of Seattle temporarily blocked his ability to do that. Uh, that, that ruling will be overruled. But to your point, Greg, the hysteria out there, some of the crazy things that politicians, elected officials were saying today. Uh, take a listen to what Chuck Schumer, if you can, make sense out of it, had to say today. This is the doing of the Trump administration. This is part of a long pattern of letting the gun lobby get whatever they want, even if safety is at risk, even if terrorists could gain the upper hand. He complains about terrorists crossing the border but he wants to let him have guns undetected? What kind of hypocrisy is this? Uh, Greg, Schumer called them fully semi-automatic semi weapons. Uh, makes no sense. Other Democrats said that now these 3D printed guns are going to allow terrorists to bypass metal detectors. Uh, even President Trump got into the act and said that he was against 3D printed guns being sold to the public, which is illegal. Nobody made any sense today. Well, these 3D guns, first of all, it's been illegal to manufacture an undetectable firearm for over 30 years. It's called the uh, Unidentifiable Firearms Act or something like that, or the Undetectable yeah. Firearms Act. So to have that in and of itself is, is illegal. But terrorists, active shooters, mass murderers, they're not going to use a 3D manufactured plastic weapon. You know, there was one that was sold online about two years ago. Again, there's been very few ever in existence, and one was sold for $11,000. Do you know how many weapons you can buy at a gun show or on a black market for $11,000? It's just, it's crazy to think that, as Chuck Schumer said, that we're putting guns in the hands of terrorists. They are not going to use these weapons for terrorist acts or mass shootings. They're looking for weapons in those instances that have a high kill capacity, a high magazine capacity, and you're just not going to get that from these plastic guns. They're, they're, they're focusing on something that's so infinitesimal that's not even funny. These are not even, even in existence yet, hardly, and if they are, it's a novelty item or a collector's item. This is not something that's going to be out there flooding the streets and causing hate and, and havoc and murder on the streets of America. It's just not going to happen. 
Now, you're right, Greg. And again, when you listen to Democrats today, you got the impression that beginning tomorrow, everybody would be making guns at home like they've never been able to do before. For, for everybody, Greg, listening and watching to us right now, when we talk about 3D printed guns, what exactly are we talking about? We're talking about complex plastics that are manufactured piece by piece and then assembled. And you've seen the pictures of the ones out there. Uh, you know, they're about, yeah. as concealable as a, they're about as concealable as a bowling ball. Okay, and again, because they're made of plastic, they don't have the capacity to fire more than one or two rounds before they'll disintegrate in your hand. To say, you know, Chuck Schumer used the word hypocrisy. It's it's the hypocrisy is the fact that he's putting he's fear mongering and thinking that these things are going to be in the streets. And you go to your printer, you click a button, and lo and behold, an hour or two later, you have a fully functioning weapon. That's just not the case. These printers cost anywhere from, you know. Twenty-five to a hundred thousand dollars. It's a very complex machine, <laughs> and, and, it, and it's a very complex method to use these plastics and print these components and then assemble them together. So, what is Greg? What when you, from your profession and from your perspective, when you look at a product like this, what what is the market down the road for something like this? Again, I think the market is strictly for collectors. Novelty, novelty item uh, collecting collection pieces. Um, I, I, there's not going to be a market for it. Again, they're not concealable because they are so bulky. They have to be bulky because you need that thick plastic to withstand the 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 uh, the gunshot when the you know, when the when the weapon is is fired. So again, they're not going to be very concealable. By law, they have to have metal in them. So to say that they are yeah. undetectable. By law, that's not the case. It has to have a certain amount of metal in those weapons for it to be law lawful. And, and, I, I, and, I swear, Greg, n n you're right. No Democrat I heard today understood that, that as you just said, it's illegal to sell guns that are undetectable. And it's illegal for somebody like a convicted felon to possess a firearm. But that happens every day as well. So, you know, yeah. legislation is always chasing technology. And this is a perfect example of that. Uh, there's plenty of room in there to debate whether or not we should ban them or not ban them. But truth be told, they're just not a factor and they won't be a factor because they will not be an effective weapon for what the Democrats are, are making you think they're going to be. They're not going to be used for mass murders and active shooters and terrorist acts. They just won't be because they will not function in that capacity where they can kill multiple people. Well, and, and Greg, one other point, it's actually legal, isn't it, to make a gun at home? Yes, it is. It's been illegal for many, many yeah. years. If you have the, the uh, technology, you have the equipment, uh, you can actually manufacture your own weapon in your own home. Absolutely. It's been, that's been allowed for years. Are you, because of your experience, are you constantly floored by how uninformed the left really is when it comes to guns in general? It, it never ceases to amaze me. And then they go in the public <laughs> arena and make, and make statements the way Senator Markey did today. And again, they lose all credibility instantly because they're, they're not talking from, from knowledge. They're, they're talking from talking points and they're not doing their due diligence and doing their own research to get the true facts of this. So it, it never ceases to amaze me how ill-informed the left is when it comes to weapons. I am with you, and it was a discouraging day uh, along those lines. Greg Schaefer, hey, Greg, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, sir. Great to see you again. Discouraging uh, poll results uh, coming up next.